it's February 4th, 2023, Saturday, and we're at Disney California Adventure for the Food and Wine Festival. The first thing you should do for any of these festivals is make sure you get a sip and savor pass. This year for the Food and Wine Festival, the key holders get their pass for $54. Uh, regular guests get it for $59. It's basically about eight twenty-five is where you want to spend per chit. Anything under that, actually, my bad. About six seventy-five, not eight twenty-five. About six seventy-five for a key holder, and about seven fifty for regular part guests to get the most value out of the chit. All right, these are the first two marketplaces. This is Delish, and we'll see what they have on the menu. All right, they've got a beef and barley poutine here, a Cubano slider, a sake melon drink, an apricot tequila colada, and the grape glow cubes. And this is Berry Patch, and it's the Kenny's Family Cheesecake, the blueberry buttermilk pie and a blueberry pancake cold blue and then you can also get the great glow cubes here the next marketplace is nuts about cheese and it has a petite burrata crackers and cheese the mickey mouse shaped macaroon made with snickers flowers and bee drink and of course the great glow cubes and this is Uncorked, California. And it has a California arch artisan cheese plate, celebration chocolate fudge brownie, and various wine flights. And you can also get the uh, corksicles steamless food here. Next marketplace is Golden Dreams. They have an elote polenta, roasted beet and goat cheese flatbread, and a central California cooler, and more glow cubes. From Delish, on the left, we have the Cubana slider, which is slow roasted, mustard crusted pork, and sliced smoked ham with melted Swiss cheese and pickles served on a wine roll, and the beef and barley poutine which is potato bites with braised beef short rib, cheese curd, stout gravy, and lager micro sponge. From Berry Patch, we have Kenny's Flammy Cheesecake and the Blueberry Milk Pie. And from Golden Dreams, this is the Central California Cooler, which is peach beret, apple, orange, and lemon juices garnished with an apple chip. From Nuts About Cheese, we have the Mickey Mouse shaped macaroon made with Snickers, which is a chocolate Mickey macaroon filled with caramel ganache and Snickers bar pieces. All right, give you a little idea what the crowd looks like. Also talk about what we just sampled. Uh, the only thing I really wouldn't recommend was the uh, poutine. The gravy kind of congealed really fast and it wasn't quite as good as I thought it was going to be. Everything else we tried, especially all the desserts, were a huge hit. Uh, the Cubano was actually better than it was last year and so was the drink. And we're going to keep moving on. The next marketplace is Garlic Kiss. And there's a garlic carbonara mac and cheese featuring Nuresca pepper bacon, a grilled top sirloin, a raspberry limoncello aid, and a guava leche mule, and of course, more gold cubes. This is the Avocado Time Marketplace, and we have the Impossible Nacho Mac and Cheese, the Impossible Al Pastor Taco, and the blueberry lavender lemonade, and of course, more glow cubes. Gonna get Next line, okay? is California Craft Brews, and they have the IP Sausage Dog, uh, 
various beer flights and then beer by the glass and of course club cubes and this is the cluckadoodle marketplace and it has the smoked honey habanero chicken wings the beef brisket slider the chipotle parlor apple bourbon slider sour yeah. the smoked cherry mckeskiki cocktail and the grape glow cubes all right, on the upper left from California Craft Brews is the IP Sausage Dog. And from Cluckadoodle Moo, you have the Beef Brisket Slider and the Smoked Honey Habanero Chicken Wings. And this is the Chipotle Pineapple Bourbon Sour. And it's bourbon pineapple, lime juices, honey syrup, and Chipotle Sour puree and garnished with dried red pineapple wheel. All right, we're on the move again. Uh, everything out of the second wave we really enjoyed. Uh, the slider uh, doesn't look like much. It definitely tastes a lot better than it looks presentation-wise. Uh, the wings were nice and sweet and there's definitely a habanero bite on the end and I really liked the drink it's got a good amount of bourbon in it and uh, and the sausage dog had a great beer cheese you could really taste that the sausage was cooked nicely had some good seasoning like I said, I would recommend all those items. And now we're heading to uh, Paradise Garden Grill to check out the vegan options. And inside the beer garden, you've got the uh, pretzel bites with the beer cheese sauce. And then they've got a festival beer garden with a variety of beers, and you can build your own flights here. All right, and here's Paradise Garden Grill. All right, and at Paradise Garden Grill, they got the Torta de Chiquilis, the Impossible Gyro Fries, the Bulgogi Fried Rice, and a Buffalo Mac and Cheese. And for dessert, you can get the peach blueberry cobbler. There's a kid's quesadilla and a kid's mac and cheese. They also have a wine float cocktail. And this is Pepper's Caliente, which is near Grizzly Rapids, kind of off the beaten track. And they have a chili relleno, a banana, camarones, a la de alba, which is spicy shrimp. The Cantrito style Paloma. And of course, the glow cubes. All right, and the last marketplace is LA style in Hollywood land. And they have a glazed barbecue pork belly, an impossible gyro inspired naan, Echo Park cooler, and the grape glow cubes. And this will end my review for the Food and Wine Festival 2023. I may be doing a part two because there were so many places to get to and so little room in my stomach. So, like I said, stand by for part two in a week or two. And thank you for watching this review.